Well, not hearing audio from the video, and I'm not sure whether we're live on the video stream yet, but I'm assuming that we may be, if not, uh, we will be momentarily. Uh, Tom Bruce, why don't you go ahead and finish up the finale here of Empire's 94 show, and we'll take it out of that. It's almost over. Okay, maybe not. Huh. Well, here's the old fat guy, the face for radio. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Scott, and we are at 75 Studson Street with one heck of a crowd of people, and 99.9% .9 of them are drum corps. And what we're here this afternoon for is to celebrate, frankly, uh, the... Uh, one percussionist that we all look up to, Mr. William A. McGrath, Jr. Bill is at home, I understand, uh, and he is potentially watching the show this afternoon. We hope so, because this truly is a drum corps happening. This is the drum corps community across western New York, and probably some out of Canada and such like that, that are here to celebrate Bill McGrath a percussionist that everybody respected. He taught many of us. We marched with him. Yes, and we were judged by him. I could tell you stories that uh, he might not even remember, but I was on the field with Empire back in the uh, early to mid-90s, and we were in Warren, Pennsylvania at the, uh, they used to call that, I think, the American Open Big Show that the Butler Vagabond sponsored. And uh, I was standing on the field of my drill spot for the opening set, and uh, all the color guard from the Empire Statesmen, who are lovely ladies, including uh, my daughters and one thing or another, uh, came out, and uh, every one of them walked up to the old bottom bass drum and gave me a kiss on the cheek. Bill walks up behind me and he goes, I don't know how to judge that. <laughs> it was a great relationship. Uh, Bill's always been, and you can see I don't know whether we've got a camera that could show you the crowd or not here. Uh, Tom, our director, if you can, uh, if you can show the crowd, do so. If you can't, that's fine. But uh, here we are, just the beginning of the show, and uh, we've got uh, people here all over the place. We have multiple acts this afternoon. We're going to be opening with one of them here very quickly. But we have uh, Mighty St. Joe's Brass Ensemble. We have um, uh, Mighty St. Joe's. We've got Primetime Brass. And setting up right now in uh, front of the stage and on the stage is the All In Brass Band, a great group of uh, adults and kids that perform all over the community. We'll be telling you about them in just a moment. And if I seem disorganized, well, it's not that I'm disorganized, it's that there's been some changes in the show and I'm doing a lot of things on the fly this afternoon. First of all, I want to thank Billy Ray from uh, Primetime Brass and Tom Bruce of 75 Studson Street. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be asked to uh, host the show this afternoon. Uh, I can't thank you enough for that. It is truly a privilege. Plus. And back in the days when I used to uh, host uh, stage shows with the Empire Statesman or Mighty St. Joe's, the few times I had a, a ch uh, an opportunity to do that, when we used to do the spectacular at the Kodak Theater on the Ridge, uh, we were, I'd often say, which would you rather be doing, watching uh, reruns on TV or would you rather be with your core? Well, I think if you uh, look at this crowd this afternoon, it's to be here uh, with the court. And I'm going to ask the, the crowd to do something, if you would. Good to see you. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do something, if I could. Give a round of applause so Bill can have an idea of how many people are here today. <laughs> that, my friend, is for you. There's no one else that we're celebrating this afternoon, and all these groups that are going to be performing are here for that purpose, 
And uh, we do have a fundraiser going. If you want to join us here at 75 Studson Street, please come over and do so. It's a $10 admission. All proceeds go to, uh, 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 well, to the family uh, to help the McGrath's out. And uh, we, uh, we are just excited about doing it. There's a 50-50 raffle going on. So if you show up, you can walk out and be able to buy dinner tonight. Right now, though, we'd like to take a moment and introduce, founded in 2016, the All In Brass Band is a one-of-a-kind youth-focused music ensemble that emphasizes music education, entertainment, and community impact. Young musicians play in the sections with musical mentors, many of whom are pro players and teachers. Three generations playing together, all dedicated to creating an encouraging and enthusiastic learning environment. The All In style combines the energy of modern New Orleans brass bands with Rochester legendary drum corps sizzle. The band plays for dozens of, char of charity events and causes throughout the year, and the young members of the band team about uh, and learn about the causes. The All In brass band dedicates today's performance to the entire McGrath family, and especially William McGrath, Jr., Kicking off today's event with Donnie Allen's arrangement and Bill Withers' lovely day. Please welcome the All In Brass Band.
Thank you all. We're the all in brass band from right here in literally right here. This is our headquarters. Uh, all of our stuff is packed away in the basement. Uh, we uh, rehearse here at 75 Stutton Street. We have members from the ages of eight on up. What? You did it wrong. How old are you, Lindsay? How old are you, Lindsay? Uh oh, there's not going to be on the exam. How old are you? Nine. Nine on up. Nine on up. Yes. So we have members from the age of nine on up. We have family members. We have pro players. But it, we try to have it. It's the three to one kid. So it's it's mostly for kids. It's youth focused. And, and as you heard from the announcement, we um, uh, play mostly at charity events. And then the kids learn about the charity events. See, I wasn't supposed to talk a lot, but I'm going to talk a lot. Um, <laughs> the thing I discovered, I started this for knuckleheads like me when I was 12. And what I discovered was these kids aren't knuckleheads. These are like some of the best kids in town. And um, like, I'm not gonna embarrass anybody, but like 75% of them are like National Honor Society kids and they do reports on the events that we go to and I'm signing off on stuff all the time. It's like, wow, it was for knuckleheads originally. Knuckleheads are still allowed, by the way. So if you have kids <laughs> who are knuckleheads and they play an instrument, uh, they can do that. Um, I gotta be really careful when I start talking about Bill because I'm gonna start crying, but Bill, he sold a gig for us when we were in a band before, and we ended up going to New Orleans a whole bunch of years. And that's when I learned that in New Orleans, horn players are rock stars. And the kids who play horns in New Orleans, they are rock stars. So we kind of stole some of those ideas and said, let's do that up here. Um, this is a tune originally done by the Rebirth Brass Band, and this is called Feel Like Funkin' It Up. Now, when we first started playing it, some of the parents were like, what are they saying? What are they saying? <laughs> it's Feel Like Funkin' It Up. But we changed it, right, Lauren? We changed this, right? So we changed this, feel like fluffing it up. So if you're not comfortable saying funking it up, you can say fluffing it up. Me and Lauren, we say fluffing it up. <laughs> Trying to get him to smile. He's got the greatest smile in the world. All right, so feel like fluffing it up. Take it.
you heard some solos on that one from Hilton, from the Hilton Crimson Cadets, one of the best playing bands in the whole state. Give it up for Ho Owen Hunzinger. <laughs> See? Also from, from Greece, from Greece Arcadia, a member of the Greece Marching Band. I'm um, not going to boost those guys up. Their egos are big enough. But <laughs> what are you, 13? 14. 13. Why don't you guys want to answer? Does anybody know how old Adrian? Mom, 13. 13. Thanks. So this is Adrian Elgato Suave Rodriguez. And you heard the magnificent Kilbride sisters. They just started trying uh, improvisation. And this is a, they, they, only a few times have they played in front of people like that. Um, but 11 year old Isla, are you 11 still? 11 year old Isla and 16, 15, 16 year old uh, Amelia, the Kilbride sisters. Give it up. for us by, by Mr. Castellan. You guys, you guys know Chris Castellan? You guys ever heard that name before? Oh, come on. Give it up for Chris Castellan. <laughs> so this is arranged for us. Uh, we, we started playing this because we, we play for all these events, and we want the kids to learn about the charities and the things that people go through, and we, we dedicate this song to like the honor flight veterans or people with disabilities at, at charity events. And we dedicate it to those folks, you know, the elderly, the disabled, or just other folks who are otherwise uh, vulnerable in our society. And we want this to be our message to them. And this is Stand By Me.
by that solo by Lawson Latini over there. How old are you? How old are you? 14. 14 from Canandaigua, a student of Jeremy Stoner, correct? Yes. So a lot of you guys might know Jeremy Stoner. Now, we got a special, we got a called an audible. Mr. Castellan was yelling, Omaha, Omaha, back here. Um, there's a tune that we're not going to play today, but it kind of ends with a drum solo that, that uh, they kind of worked out. It's an adaptation of a, a drum solo that Bill wrote for another group. And we've got the whole group doing it, and it, it's kind of like our normal ending, and it's really cool. Um, and we weren't going to play it, but we said, you know what? It's Bill's gig. Bill, are you out on the internet, Bill? Um, so we're going to just play that drum solo. Guys, we just, oh, you guys don't know. We're just playing the drum solo. Don't play it. Yeah, we're just doing the drum solo. So we're just going to do the, our, our drum solo, and then, then we'll get back to our we got two more tunes, Bob. Sorry. Um, but count it, Mr. Castellan. So, so that, that drum line, Danny, you're thir Danny just turned 13. So you're, how old are you? You're 12, and Danny, you just, Danny, he just turned 13. You're 16, 17? 17, and what are you doing in college next year? So she started out when she was 11 in this band, and she's going off to, like, some college I could never get into. Um, uh, we know Ken's, Kenzie is nine. Katie has already turned down colleges that I would never get into. Um, but those ergosound and bass drums, they were invented by Kenny Turner. Uh, some of you guys know, know, might know him, uh, DCI judge, local guy. And my brother Jimmy helped design it so that they're easy to march with. They, they created them because they couldn't recruit kids to do this. They don't want to be cool uh, like, like, like Tom DeFazio. They want to be cool like Billy McGrath. So, so they made the bass drum so a kid can play like that, or play like a, a real drummer. And they had it tested at, at SUNY Binghamton Acoustics Engineering. They're 33% lighter with 110% of the boom boom. So, so that's the, what we use up there, uh, the, all, the, uh, the ergosonic bass drums. So we have Move the Lou coming up, all right? So we've got a couple more tunes here. This is also a New Orleans tune by Rebirth Brass Band. Um, yeah, and I'm not going to give a big, long, long intro. This is called You Move, You Lose.
was unaware that our saxophone soloist, Adrian, has a trombone right now. So <laughs> way to go. <laughs> so this is our last tune. This tune is originally by, uh, done by Trombone Shorty. Uh, let's just do it. Wait a minute. I, was at, I normally introduce every kid in the band. So as you guys, I hope you notice this, this is a positive thing up here. The worst thing about this band, the one thing that people just hate about this band is that I will talk to you about every single one of these kids. I'll tell you their grade point average and their, their, whether they use coasters or not. So, and it just takes half an hour and people say, Tom, you gotta stop doing this. Um, so we're not gonna introduce every member of the band. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. We're, we're just, what, any, are there any notable people? Anybody? So by the way, we've got some new kids from the Grease Marching Band. Seth Robertson showed up yesterday and sight read through all of these songs. <laughs> And he won a free T-shirt. He won a free T-shirt, <laughs> so he gets to be in the gig. Uh, we've got other some other kids who just came in. Uh, Blake Mott, also from Hilton. And, and if you haven't seen these bands around town, please support these these young kids in these bands. We have some of the best playing bands in this entire country. So Blake from Hilton, thank you. He just three rehearsals. He's there. So we have uh, Dominic and Alexis. They just came in, three rehearsals. They're here. They all, they all get a free T-shirt. If you guys can come in and sight read our show, you get a free T-shirt, and you have to be in all the gigs. So let's just do a buck jump. We're just going to start two, 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 two bars of Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the All In Brass Band. Let's give them a big round of applause, please. Hey, folks. Mr. Allen and myself both had a lot of the mentors earlier in at least my time when I first came to Rochester and I met Mr. Allen. Uh, Mr. McGrath was absolutely Mr. McGrath Sr. and then Jr. and the third have all been part of our lives. Uh, but I also want to quickly say that it's the influence from those people that created... Um, people like myself and Mr. Allen, and this entire thing that you've just seen is the brainchild of Mr. Tommy Allen, okay? He, it was his idea to find a place. He never takes any, he never takes any credit for this, so that's why I'm here. 
he never takes any credit, but it was his brainchild to find a place for young kids to make music together and have friendships and experiences and learn about how they can better serve our community. So one more time, Tommy Allen is the founder of the All In Brass Band. But I do want to settle one thing right now. Those of you who know Bill McGrath knows he never got the credit he deserves. Bill McGrath Jr. never got the credit he deserves. And I'm going to settle one thing right now. The McGrath family, from Mr. McGrath to Bill Jr. to Billy the Third. If you guys know Billy the Third, he's one of the baddest snare drummers in the history of, of this great nation of ours. I'm going to settle this right now. The McGrath family is the number one family in Rochester Drum Corps, period. Once again, thanks to the All In Brass Band, Tommy and Chris, one heck of a job with these kids. Thank you very much. Okay, a couple housekeeping things if we can. For those of you who are sitting in seats, if you could somehow consolidate, we've got a backup of people here that's uh, amazing, and uh, I know some of them look like uh, they're in much better shape than I am, but they probably need a place to sit. For those of you that are watching the live video stream, Please, consider coming to 75 Studson Street this afternoon. We're here until around 6 o'clock. We've got uh, the St. Joe's Brass Ensemble coming up, Mighty St. Joe's Alumni, the uh, Drum Machine. Uh, then we'll have Primetime Brass. So there's a lot of entertainment. Plus, on top of that, and we're going to take just a, a few minutes here to do some other things, there is a 50-50 raffle going on. We please invite you to uh, uh, participate in that. There's going to be a drawing every hour. So if you come now and want to leave, fine. If you want to stay for the whole event, there's an excellent opportunity for you to uh, uh, win uh, some money. Down here in front of me, uh, surrounded by people, is a snare drum with a hole in the center. The purpose is for donations. Please make a donation. All the proceeds for the day, uh, including uh, hall rental and just everything else, is uh, it's a benefit for the McGrath family and what they're going through. And uh, Bill McGrath, Jr., it's all about you this afternoon. We'd also like to tell the people here in the room, and for those of you that might be joining us a little bit later, there is adult beverages over here. I don't know what brand we're selling today, but there's also wine and uh, beer, and then we have refreshments, of course, for the younger people. So please, uh, enjoy, take a few moments and enjoy the refreshments, and uh, come and enjoy the drum corps community. You know, most of these people in this room have either marched together or competed against one another, sometimes at the same time, who knows? But it's an incredible group of people, and if you've never been involved with them, you should. I'd like to introduce uh, a guest here, and I assume that uh, you can see uh, the gentleman sitting beside me. I hope your microphone's on. This is Tommy McGrath, Bill's brother. And uh, I don't even know how to start this out. I started to read Bill Jr.'s resume, mm -hmm. and I'm going to... It's... It's three pages 